students welcome to short answers classes in this video i will be solving questions from oscillation and waves okay in the previous videos i have given you many of the explanation of the topics now as you have requested me to solve some numerical problems so i will be doing then this video so the vibration of a string can be described by the equation okay so they have given us a equation like this aapke paas ye ek bada sa equation hai so the vibration of the string is given by this equation and the speed of wave traveling in the string we need to find it out so uh, we have a equation structure in general we will compare it with the comparing with general uh, standard equation standard equation comparing with the standard equation structure we can write uh, which is y equal to a cos 2 pi by lambda x sin 2 pi by t into t so we get it like uh, 2 pi by 5 equal to 2 pi by lambda so this will give you lambda equal to 5 directly so now as n equal to 30 and 2 pi by t equal to 60 pi so 2 n pi equal to give you 60 pi so v equal to n lambda that is 30 into 5 so 150 cm per second so this d will be your answer next a traveling wave is presented by a y equal to this particular structure a sin 2 pi vt minus x by pi so the amplitude of the wave we we'll see amplitude of the wave first we have to find the wave velocity so the wave uh, velocity is this and uh, peak particle velocity also we need which is a omega so small a to v pi so peak particle velocity is a w equal to a to pi t now we can proceed with this sum so given that x a to v pi equal to 10 so obviously a equal to the amplitude of the wave is coming as lambda by 20 a that's it so lambda by 20 so it's lambda by 20 pi and uh, so option number c is correct next we are going to the question on engine so what they are saying here an engine blowing its whistle at a frequency of 1 to 00 hertz approaches a stationary observer with a velocity of 50 meter per second okay so if the speed of the sound is seven times of this so then the apparent frequency is heard by the observer so how to deal with this question first you need to write uh, the frequency in hertz velocity of the source source this is the frequency t meter per second apparent uh, frequency which is v dot is v minus v s whole into this so putting the values directly we can say this value is 1400 hertz okay next question is so option number a is correct next is the sound source s of the frequency 1125 hertz is moving towards a stationary observer with o so this also uses the similar formula okay so here we can write v minus v s 
v2 is v plus v0 by v into this now all you have to do is to do v1 by v2 Hello? v1 by v2 equal to v minus v minus v s v v plus v0 so it's v squared v minus v s and v plus v0 so now you have to put all the values 343 square and 343 square minus 29 square you can calculate this will become 1.007 okay which is nothing but if you compare with the options here you have to calculate everything separately these are actually h2 sign okay so the closest one is 1229 by 1220 so the option in this case is a we will be coming soon with our uh, new set of videos till then uh, you can get back to us to our comment section or you can whatsapp to our given official number